my friends. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Danny, your friendly neighborhood DIYer, and this DIYer is on the road. I have Jess with me. We're going on a trip because we're traveling to do a very top secret project that I can't talk about yet. We are traveling to PEI, Prince Edward Island. It is the cutest place on earth. I love it. I went there so often as a kid and I haven't been back. Same with Jess. So we are so excited as like adults to be there and experience it in a new way. I figured I'll take you guys along the ride and we're gonna do some thrifting. We're gonna see PEI, we're gonna eat some food. I'm also gonna be answering some questions. I asked you guys to give me some questions on my Instagram, so I'm gonna be doing a little Q&A. Buckle up, friends, cause we're going to PEI. Editor, roll the tape. Boop. You have to repeat what you just told me was in your bag because people need to know. Tell them right now. Okay, for starters, my water bottle that tells me the times of when I should be drinking, which I am failing poorly at. This was filled in this morning. I packed 100 faces and figures that I wanted to do some sketching because I'm like trying to work on my faces after my King of the Hill <laughs> debacle. <laughs> Propane and propane accessories. Which also means I brought a sketchbook, but I like this one because it has like a little holder for your pencil and it's like nice because you can, you know, sketch like this. I brought my Rupi, Rupi Carr. This is her new book called Homebody, if you've read it. I think I've read the first 10 pages, so I'm hoping to get some downtime. I have my emergency mustache kit for uh, when you need emergency mustaches. That's ridiculous. How do I look? I actually think you were like meant to have a mustache. <laughs> does it look good? Yeah, it does. <laughs> it actually does. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. We got some shopping to do, so put the handle brush away and <laughs> let's go. Okay, so the first shop was a total success. I'm so happy with what I bought. Oh my God, there's a Home Depot. Oh, an H&M. Oh, there's the Home Sense. We can go back to that on the oh, way yeah. back. Okay, so what I just bought was these cute little socks. I don't know, I just love them. And I just think that they're adorable and they're such a good quality. Um, I also bought this, a little makeup bag. I just thought it was so cute. And it's just so beautiful with a little pom-pom. And then the last thing I bought was this beautiful bag. So these are hand-stitched in Cambodia. And uh, from like literally every single stitch is the handmaid and she bought them and brought a whole bunch of them in. Camera. She had about like 15, 16 of them there, I would say. I don't know, maybe a little bit more than that, but um, it's so beautiful with all the stitch. I just love it. I just thought it was lovely. Anyways, a nice, beautiful boutique local finds and uh, very excited about these. So where are we off to next? McCaskill's Woodworking. <gasps> We're going to McCaskill's Woodworking. Look at that house. Ah! Holy Hannah, sign me up. I have a wiener doggy too. Oh, okay. Hello. Hi. So you're familiar with wiener dog uh, behavior? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they have a wiener dog, but it's Yeah. I know. Got the beast of burdens animal rights. This is apparently all done through watercolor. And then the other one is the highest house. It just came wildly recommended by the owners and uh, I'm excited.
What? Is there something in my teeth? <laughs> No, Carl. Put your hat back on. We're leaving. <laughs> One thing I've started to learn that I love about PEI is the color of the homes. Look down this row. There's blue, yellow, pink, green. There's like an off gray, a reddy kind of maroon yellow down there. But this color palette is absolutely beautiful. I'm like so taken. I'm like ready to buy a house in PEI today. And even you can see it going down this too. The blue, pink, light blue, yellow, and maroon. I'm like dying. So we just ordered a pizza that has potatoes, caramelized onions, smoky bacon, and white cheese. Oh, the maple cream sauce, that's the thing. Wow. The potato in that is so good. intended to answer all of your Q&A questions while I was in PEI. I had a lot of driving to do, but my vlog camera ended up breaking. I didn't know it was broken. This board here. Oh, oh, wow. And she bought them and brought a whole bunch of them in. Anyways, it was a nightmare. So I decided just to redo all the Q&A questions. Apologies that you have to see me in my studio when we are so far away in the video. <laughs> Let's answer some questions, shall we? Who are some of your favorite YouTubers to watch? I love watching artists. So some of my favorite is um, 10 Hundred. I mean, you guys have seen, I have a sticker on my computer. I love watching Slu as well. He's such a talented oil paint artist. I love watching Nerdforge. I mean, I think that's obvious if you guys watch my channel. I'm a big Rachel Maxey fan. Her and I have a very similar humor and totally I would love to collaborate with her one day. I would literally lose my if she reached out to me. <laughs> Oh, I love watching um, Chris Ramsey. He, he's a magician, he solves puzzles. It's just really like a calming thing to watch when you're like just watching someone solve a puzzle. It's really it's really therapeutic. Of course, my friend Shada Campbell from uh, the East Coast, she is a beautiful watercolorist. Her voice is just so, mm. So yeah, I love watching artists do their thing in the DIY space. It's just my favorite thing to watch. So yeah, a lot of people were asking me how far in advance do I brainstorm slash plan for each video. That's interesting that you guys are curious about that. As of right now, I'm about three weeks ahead of my posting schedule. So when you guys see something happening, I'm like three weeks ahead of you. <laughs> I'm a overachiever. I always feel like I'm trying to do way too many things in my videos, but I like, I like giving you guys everything that I've got, whether it's a makeover or DIY piece like I don't want to hold back I want to give all of my creative heart and soul to every project so to do that um, it just takes time it is a lot it's a lot but as of right now yeah I think I'm about three weeks ahead of my posting schedule which allows me to decompress a little and create the best content I can possibly create for you guys have you remembered to water your plants every day well, Joanna, I have remembered to water my plants every day. <laughs> Someone says, do you identify as an LGBTQ plus or an ally? So I actually identify as the B. I love people um, and I don't look at that as a gender whatsoever. I think I've always identified um, as bisexual. I have loved so many people in my life and um, yeah. I think love is a beautiful thing. Tell us something that shaped you into the person you are today. Love you, girl. Love you too. Princess Mononoke or Lord of the Rings. I say Lord of the Rings um, for two reasons. One, when I was like growing up, I didn't even know, I didn't read the books. I didn't know what Lord of the Rings was. And then I ended up watching it at home. And you know those moments where you're just like sitting and you're watching something and all of a sudden like your world just explodes and you're just like tunnel visioned. I think I watched that movie every day 
for an entire summer after I saw it. So Lord of the Rings in a sense just like shaped who I am, made me love original soundtracks, made me love listening to um, instrumentals so much more. On top of that, um, Princess Mononoke. So why I say that was that movie was what got me into anime in such a deeper level. Again, to this day, it is still one of the most impactful movies. I still love watching it. I still listen to the soundtrack. Like everything about that movie just shaped me for who I am. So those are two things in the fandom world that I'm just like, love. Do you listen to Taylor Swift? Yes more recent Taylor Swift versus old Taylor Swift. I am not a country fan. I'm sorry if that breaks people's hearts. New School Taylor, totally. Um, Evermore was such a beautiful album. I love her new stuff. It's really great DIY music. What is the most difficult thing about having a career online? Woo, that is a... That is a loaded question. So much of you see so much of my life. Like obviously I can pick and choose what you guys see, but you know, you want to share as much as possible because that's what brings people in. That's what helps you connect with people. There's also a vulnerability about being a creator online on YouTube. Um, these are our ideas. This is our creativity and we are sharing it with you. And when someone goes, that's the ugliest thing I've ever seen. You're just like, <laughs> I'm sorry, I tried. I just saw it in my head and I wanted to put it out there. You do grow a backbone for that. You start to kind of push it aside and focus on everyone else who is supporting you in a positive way. It is hard being a creator, but it's also one of the best things um, in the world. I love you guys and I love this community that we've created, this creative beast community. And um, it just makes me feel like I'm not alone. And the only way to do that is to let people in. So here I am. Letting people in, I let you guys in as much as I possibly can um, with balance. I think there's, it's a balance. Tell us you're Canadian without telling us you're Canadian. I don't know what you're talking about. Yep, another rainy day in PEI. Love that for Jess and I. <laughs> I want to show you guys what I bought yesterday. This is, this are so cool. Look how cute this is. They're like little skulls. You had me at skull, which is so cute. And then of course you guys, I had to, I saw this and I was like, it's so dainty and cute that, you know, and being such a Harry Potter fan, I love it. I like things like this that aren't so flashy, but it lets you be a fan without having to have such a flashy thing on you. So I'm, I'm a big fan of that. I also got some new jewelry. So this one will be for my thumb and I love this one on my pinky. It's very cute. I didn't actually show you guys these, but these are so fun. I mean, being someone who loves purple, I saw these and I was just like, I have to have them. They're so fun. Um, of course I bought some stickers and I bought this, um, postcard because I like picking up little items that I can put into my memory book. You guys saw me working on my memory book in my cabin adventure. Um, so I always pick up something everywhere I go to go into there. So that's my entire haul there for one day, which I think is pretty good. And then let me talk about Jess's stuff. So she bought this lovely sweater called says Stog Mom on it. I almost bought myself one of these, but you know, it just so was like, I don't know if I want to do it. I've already bought a lot. So she took one for the team and bought it for us. <laughs> And then a really fun find, it's called Eat, Play, Love, Life Lessons from My Dog. And uh, it's just so sweet. And the artwork in this is absolutely adorable. <laughs> Stay active, but cherish the lazy days. I feel you, dog, I feel you. Anything that I can link below um, that might be somewhere else, uh, I will link it below. I am also going to put the stores that they were bought from. So if you do ever come to PEI, go shop local, support these beautiful shops. So today though is very exciting. I'm very excited. We're gonna be hitting some thrift shops, some antique shops, and a historical lighthouse that's kind of like in Surrey. In Surrey. I don't know what you're talking about. The East Point Lighthouse, which I'm so excited about because I don't know, I just feel like it's such an iconic thing to go see. We're in the East Coast and we're going to the most East Point of PEI. So, I don't know guys, we are doing East real hard this week. <laughs> Let's go on an adventure. In the old days, you used to have to go out the back of the house to the, to the outhouse. Yeah. And this here, you put, the outhouse. you put the candle in there, close that up, see there's a reflector there for the candle. Oh, yeah. And you go out to the camp, go to the crapper. Out to the crapper with your little yeah. candle light. Yeah. Oh. oh. 
My tea, please. You bell. <laughs> tea. No. Okay, just me. <laughs> Look where we are! But that isn't actually the most magical thing to see because let me turn the camera around. Oh my god, the sun is gorgeous. Let's go for a walk. If this doesn't convince you guys to come to PEI, I don't know what would. This trip was like so worth it. I don't know. There's something about seeing a sunset on the ocean that just like, it just fills your soul with so much life. Um, I just don't know how to explain it, but I think you guys know what I mean. I just, this is like one of the most beautiful places on earth, for sure. <sighs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, somebody asked, can you walk us through your tattoos? I actually walked you guys through my tattoos in my last Q&A, so you can go check out that. But I have recently integrated a full sleeve into my arm. This is actually stage one of three. Um, so I am gonna be getting a whole bunch of shading, but um, it is basically a bunch of wildflowers that goes all the way up to my shoulder here, and there's a little bee in the back. <laughs> It's been my dream to have a full sleeve. I probably plan to do a full sleeve on this side one day when I can afford it because this is literally breaking the bank. So I'm doing flowers on this side and I'm probably gonna be a little more nerdy on this side. So stay tuned. I got nothing but you're awesome. Thank you, you're awesome too. Are you planning on releasing any new merch? Um, what can we expect from you for in the future? That is a great question. And I'm so glad that someone asked this question because now we can bring it up. As of Thursday this past week, it, depending on when you watch this, if you watch this in the future, I apologize, it's probably already out. I just had new merch launch and I'm so excited. I'm gonna show you some pictures. We have a whole new Creative Beast line that is coming out. Brand new colors, pinks and purples. I updated the DIY in progress logo. It's a little bit more kind of artsy. We launched some kids stuff. I know that there are some kids out there who love watching my channel. There are definitely your sizes now. And there's also stickers. I have my own stickers that's so fun a lot of you've been asking about overalls and I it is something that I'm working on it is literally my goal to create overalls like my own DIY version so stay tuned but in the meantime if you want to support me if you want some sick dope DIY gear you want to wear go check out my make it messy line all of it is available right now so uh, check it out when is pup pup getting a friend oh my gosh if Jeffrey was here right now Jeffrey wants to get a second dog so badly. Now, Kenobi is turning three in September and shepherds don't normally calm down till they're about four or five. Knowing him, it'll probably be seven. I just feel like I wanna wait till he's a little bit more calm before we integrate another dog into our lives. I would love to get a corgi. I would love to get a corgi named Ayn. If you know, you know, that's my plan and I'm sticking to it. What is my least favorite room in my home? Honestly, it's a room that you guys will literally never see. Um, it is my laundry room slash downstairs washroom. It's actually just off of this studio space. There's no saving it. In the next two years, two and a half years, Jeff and I are actually planning to demolish this side of the house, including the studio, um, and we're gonna rebuild it. I don't wanna touch it because it's coming out. It's coming down and uh, we're restarting. It is an awful room with no windows. It sucks, um, but it's getting demolished. 
Who is your favorite superhero? Definitely Batman. Are there any tips for someone abundant in creativity but super lacking in confidence? If you're lacking confidence, the only thing that's going to build that confidence is just jumping in with two feet and giving it a go. Honestly, there are so many situations where I have been terrified to use a tool, I have been terrified to just paint something, and then you start doing it and then you realize, what was I afraid of this entire time? I went for a creative getaway, which you guys saw, to help build my confidence in painting that I shared with you guys. And I'm like determined to get better. So things like that, it just comes down to practice, practice, practice. I know that's lame, but it's truly just the, the most appropriate answer. Good morning, DIY friends. So the reason why we were in PEI happened yesterday and it was just a crazy day. I had no time to film. So it's now the next day. It is so cold in PEI today. I don't understand the weather is so hot and cold here. Jess and I decided that as a final, hello. <laughs> As a final thing that we want to do before we head back to the airport, we're going to go check out the Singing Sands. So this is a beach that has a type of sand that has silica in it, which creates this like squeaking sound when you walk in the sand. And I was like, yeah, we've got to check that out. All right, we're going to get to Singing Sands and then we're going to sing our feet away for you. <laughs> My feet aren't singing, so I don't know if it works anymore. I'll show you. Nothing, nothing. But uh, the ocean looks beautiful and uh, this is great. This is exactly what we needed to do before the end of this trip. Wondering if thousands of miles away, the sky's just as blue. It's as if I'm stuck in yesterday When I'm thinking of you Cause when you have your morning coffee I'm turning out the lights so I could dream And when you smile through the screen I wish you could be with me So I lay my head to rest When the sun is rising I'll start That is the end of my PEI trip. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me go along this like thrifting slash local shop uh, journey. I have to say PEI is probably one of the most beautiful places. There's a lot of mosquitoes. I think that was just the season that we were there. I have a big honker on my neck right now and my legs are just destroyed. With that said, um, it definitely was so worth it. And I'm so sorry that I couldn't reveal why it was in PEI, but I definitely will be revealing that soon, coming up in September. So I'm excited to share a little bit more about that. If there's any other questions you guys ever wanna know, um, leave it down in the comment section below. I will try to answer them in the future. And as always, stay positive, stay creative, and keep on DIYing. Bye. The places you have been, so today. I am time traveling